Hello everyone, welcome back to Meatball Plays. Today, we are playing Spiral Knights. On my old account, before I start doing the Let's Play. Getting the hang of things again, getting the gist of it. Because when you haven't played a game for years, you're kind of out of the loop. This game is like dead now. But I don't care, because it's awesome. There are way too many lumbers here. Can't even deal. Probably could have done that easier. Just focus on one, but as I said, I'm out of the loop. I don't have the skill I once had. Oh god, let me go. I just knocked myself unconscious. <laughs> I threw the stun bottle and there was some music change. That's weird. I have no idea when's the last time they updated this game. But the servers are still up, so that's gotta count for something. I am taking a lot of damage. This isn't good. I didn't take the yellow ones because I have like tons of yellow crystals in my inventory as it is, and I honestly don't need any more. Should probably use my mini vials to heal myself, but I also think I should probably save them for when things get more hectic. Clockward Tunnels, Mechanized Mile. Mm. I have no idea why I opened this. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I do not, definitely don't have enough heat crystals. How leveling up items in this game work is that you collect heat in each each level you complete. And once you have enough heat, you can level it up with heat crystals. But me? I don't have any heat crystals because they're like all from bosses. This game can be a huge grind. Unless you have money, then it's just pay to win. But, I still like the game anyways. It's a nice game. I have a lot of memories of it, and I really like the art style as well. That could be part of why I like it. And it has an interesting story. Being a sci-fi fan myself, I really like it. You'll see a snippet of the story in my Let's Play playthrough releasing soon.
being that ev if everything goes according to plan. And my recording doesn't fuck up on me. But knowing my luck, that's gonna happen anyway. Shit. Shouldn't have focused on the spike thing. Not off. No. Wow. They make like little dog noises. Now that I'm thinking about it, doing an impression of such a thing. I forget how this puzzle works. Oh yeah, I have like almost 300 hours logged into this game before I started playing again. So yeah, I have no life. Burn. Ooh, black magic. What do they call black magic? I hope it's not Aretha's thing. Maybe it has to do with the darkest of nights? I have no idea. I'm just rambling at this point. Nope, I just heard some lumber spawn, or timbers. I don't know what they're called. Need more. Don't judge me. Yeah, I might end up paying money in this game. Now that I have a allowance. And I don't have to ask my parents for money for mundane things like this. Cannot aim for my life. There we go. <laughs> That's more like it. Yeah, I don't know why the graphics of items is freaking out so much lately. It's weird. Oh, these are heat crystals. Yay! Trading out my poison vials for more heat vials, because that's actually useful. Fire is like one of the best elements in the game, and ooh, the casino. I ran into this a little before I started recording. This music makes you want to dance. But basically, you buy a coin for about 500 and it's basically try and get lucky and not lose all your cash I'm not sure if I want to do this <laughs> last time I did I lost like 500 coins <laughs> and it just wasn't worth it for me about 300 if anything but even still yeah um, hmm no <laughs> Continue. Let's keep moving. New treasure. Hey, all, I'm back. I changed the screen resolution a little bit so maybe the frame rate's better without going to fill screen and lose my ability to record entirely. 
but didn't work. At least I tried. I have no idea how to get out of here. Die. Come on, that was nowhere in range of me. Same with that. I am not in the mood for your bullshit. <laughs> that is an energy gate. You, you get energy by either putting in a lot of in-game coins or money. I don't feel like using that, even though I have like 50 energy. I have 50 energy left over something I bought. Can't remember what it was though. It was probably... I think it might have been crafting materials I spent my money on. Because I didn't feel like spending out. Attack, will you? Thank you. that moving on I am back with a big glass of milk cuz I like milk I really hope this is in the okay good this is in the city business area I will end you. Kill yourself. Let me go. Probably can't skip this area entirely, but greed and curiosity. Now that I think about it, this game is just a giant lottery game. So I probably should have gone to the lottery, gotten like tons of coins. How these areas this work, like gremlin areas, is. There's keys somewhere, and inside of the locked gates, there's another key. So you have to open the gates in a specific order to get the maximum amount of rewards. But the hard part about it is, yeah, that's not even the hard part. There are tons of gremlins everywhere, and they'll just swarm you, usually all at once. So once you defeat a horde, then you're pretty much good to go. It's like a troll horde. I'm not in the mood for your sidestepping bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you can't do shit when you're behind there, can you? Ha! Ow! Get out of here. 
Scrub. Is there a key there? Yes, there is. So I want to make sure there's not another one. Why I say that is because there are some doors with two keys in them to mix everything up. So it's good to explore these entire areas where you do it and not just leave it to chance. But the bad thing exploring is that stuff like this happens. They're like, ooh, there's a person looking around. Let's go fuck him up. I should probably use these small health potions, but I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna start using the potions, cause why not? Okay, so it seems like the area is pretty good to start opening gates. Open gate. Would you like me to open the gate? Yes, burn in hell. Come here. Charging up and kaboom. Charging kaboom? <sighs> no, I'm the one who went kaboom. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> all right, that's all of them, I think. That didn't really get me much. Oh well. I did get a token, but I don't really have any use for them. None that I've already exploited. Those ones can mainly be used for 
for brain fart. I forget what I was even talking about. Hang on. Um. Oh yes, they they're used for purchasing items for a certain amount of them. And I have so many of them, but I have no need for them because I have so many items already. Oh, and I think I got heat crystals that I can use to upgrade my auto gun, which is my favorite weapon. If you look at it, it kind of looks like a nerf maverick, if anyone remembers those dart guns. I'm such a child. Coin free feeding frenzy, yay! I feel like Mario. Just going wherever the coins are. I went the wrong way. Yeah, those things are annoying, and if I remember correctly, I think they steal your items. That, or that's just my chameleon trope going off in my head. If any of you have played Monster Hunter, you know the horror of the chameleos. I'm going on Monster Hunter rant, but I hate it how it, its main tongue attack just t takes an item for you, I must have the most terrible luck because it always ends up taking an ancient potion away from me. And that's like the hardest kind of health potion you can and make for you non-Monster Hunter players. So yeah, it's just pure annoyance. It's just a bad time. No. You took something from me, didn't you? I'm not gonna let you get away. Heh, <laughs> just as I thought. Pain in the ass. I literally have no use for these crystals that I can pick up other than pet food. Yay, more heat crystals. Literally, I think that the chameleons here are designed purely to be annoying and nothing else. Because, like, you finally have solitude. And then you have these things just... Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna open those gates of energy. I plan on buying more anyway. I'm going over here first in case I for You son of a bitch. That item is very important because it is an automated sentry drone, which is 
useful for when things turn into hell. Yay, more health. Let's open you up first. Yeah, the the other door that I needed energy to open back there. There was nothing in there. God damn it. Yeah, that has a, like a really powerful. Has a lot. Of, it's a room with really powerful monsters in it. It's just really difficult. And quite a pain in the ass, to be honest. I really wish someone would come join me on the lower levels. There. Everyone else is like down up top, getting like low rank items. I'm not even quite sure why, but they are. Last well, it's getting around the time of the end of the episode anyway, so thank you everyone so much for watching. If you want to see more of this game, let me know. And set. Yay. The short's kind of going for me. There we go. If you want to see more of this, tell me in the comment section below. I'm going to keep playing this in the meantime. And I'll see you next time. Later, everybody. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins.